Joined now by Mookie Betts, the American League most valuable player. And Mookie, since the end of October, you win a World Series, you win a Gold Glove, you win a Silver Slugger, you win the MVP, you have a new daughter. When you sit down a week from today on Thanksgiving, surrounded as you are today by family and friends, and you take inventory on all of these blessings, how do you even process all that has happened? Uh, I'm, I'm not sure you can. Uh, you, I'll do my best to kind of soak it all up and, and enjoy, uh, enjoy these moments, but I know I have to uh, prepare and get ready for next year, too. Well, then I'll just ask right there, since you brought it up, you got to get ready for next year. And I don't know of any great player in any great sport, uh, any sport, I should say, that's satisfied with where he or she is. Even MVPs work on things to, to improve. So when you get back in, in the lab, as they say, and you focus on something to improve, what would it be? Um, just the uh, little ins and outs, I uh, mean, of, of, of the swing. Uh, you know, obviously I work on some defensive stuff, but I'm just trying to be consistent. You know, the, the little things that make you consistent, I'm definitely going to uh, work hard on and uh, trying to keep going in spring training. I read uh, a story about J.D. Martinez's impact with you, Jackie Bradley Jr., in, in a way that maybe I would understand it. Was there something about his approach that, that made sense to you that you felt really helped? Um, yeah, I mean, I think pretty much everything, um, you know, he, he affected uh, me in a lot, a lot of ways. I mean, obviously in the lineup, but just uh, like you said, off the field, I mean, just talking about baseball, talking about approaches against pitchers and, and talking about situations in the game where you try and do different things. And, uh, you know, I kind of just uh, was able to soak it all up um, and, and, and kind of put it into action and watching him do it uh, every day made it a lot easier. So do, do you feel a great sense of guilt that you took these, these uh, Cliff's notes of his and, and used it to beat him in the MVP? No, I mean, uh, <laughs> he's the teacher and uh, I'm the student, so I have to uh, try, try and beat the teacher. Understood. I, I saw when we were watching when the awards was, were announced, you're surrounded by family, and it, it's, it's not a secret. Your initials are MLB. Your, your mom had a big role in, in, in helping sort of guide you through you, coming up in the game of baseball. What, what's the message to mom specifically today when, when her, her baby boy wins the MVP? Uh, just uh, starting with, you know, I love you. Um, thank, you for, to, thank you for starting a team when I was, you know, I wasn't able to get picked up when I was, uh, I think, four years old. And uh, you know, she just was uh, able to be here every step of the way. Um, you know, my dad as well, he, you know, he's been every, of every step of the way. And I couldn't ask for a better set of parents. I mean, they're uh, at every, every game. I mean, my dad is, is making heaters for, for the parents and, and making shade when it's 100 degrees. And my mom is in her, in her, kind of, in her recliner falling asleep during games. But at least she was there. And uh, so it was just one of those things where, I, like I said, I can't uh, thank my parents enough for, for getting me to every game. What a beautiful thing to be able to share with them. And I want to close just with one last thing, because I can see it around your neck. It, there's a story about that necklace. A young, a young fan, Griffin, I believe, gave it to you back in, in spring training, if I have that right. And I don't know if you're superstitious or if you're not superstitious, but it worked. I mean, you won everything. Is that going to be something you wear, like, from now on? Yeah, I think uh, I like it enough, and it, it brought me some, uh, some good luck in 2018, so I'm definitely going to wear another one next year, and hopefully I can uh, you know, get them to uh, expand and maybe get into some family members. I can't give it to any other players. You know, I don't want to bring it to anybody else except, except, the, except my team, so maybe I can get them to make, a, make, make one for, for the 25 guys in our, in our locker room. Well, it certainly worked for you. Stay lucky, uh, stay healthy, and uh, congratulations on this. And, and most of all, congratulations on your daughter. Uh, there's no greater blessing in the world than a baby girl, as, uh, as you'll find out, my man. Appreciate your time. Good Thank luck you, in sir. the offseason, all right? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you.